Welcome to Rambam in Depth. <clears throat> Today we're going to be discussing the Rambam in Hilchas Pesuli Hamikdashin, first Perik, and we're going to be talking about the second halacha, halacha Beis. The Rambam talks about how <coughs> shechita, the slaughtering of the animal that is used for the korban, is kshera bizarre. It can be done even by a czar, a non kohen, even the paraduma. Shashachta Zar Kshera. Even the Paraduma that's slaughtered by the Zar is kosher. She'ein lucha shechita shepsula bizar. There is no shechita of any sacrifice that is kosher only with a kohen, that, that is puzzle, that is invalid if it's done by a Zar. That's the Rambam's Psak Halacha, which is not contested by anyone. Shechita lava veida. The Gemara says in many places that the shechita of the Carbon is not considered a service, and therefore it is perfectly all right for a non kohen to do it. There's even a question, but we won't go into it right now, if it's better for a czar to do it. There seems to be a Zohar that suggests that, but that's a discussion for another time. The Lecha Mishnah in Hilchas Yemakipurim raises a question that seems to contradict another Rambam. In Hilchas Avedis Yamakipurim, Pere Gimel, Halacha Gimel. The Ramam talks about the Gairo, the lottery that was conducted on Yom Kippur to decide which goat goes to the base of Migdosh and is offered as a sacrifice, and which goat would be the scapegoat, the Sari Lazaza that would be thrown down the cliff as an atonement for all the sins. So the Rambam writes over here that. They would take the two lots. One lot said La Hashem, it goes to God. One said it goes La Zazel. And they would put it on the goats. And he says that if you didn't put the girl on the goats, you just declared, let's say the right one is the Chatos, the left one is the La Zazel, or reverse, whatever it was, if you just declared it without putting the actual geirol on the animals, it's still kosher. It's not me'akib. It doesn't prevent it from being a valid uh, ritual. On the other hand, if you didn't do the geirol, you, you just declared which goat would go to the base amigdash as a chatas, and which one would go lazaza without doing the geirol, that's me'akib. And therefore, it's not acceptable if it's done by a non kohen A czar who does it, it's not good. If the placing of the girl on the animal is done by a czar, that's all right, because it's not miyakiv. You can do it without that. But if it's the actual girl, since it's miyakiv, you can't have a, the sacrifice, the chatas and the azazel, without actually doing it through a girl. Therefore, it cannot be done by a czar. So what do we see from this? Rambam, which is based on the Gemara in Yuma, we see from here that if something is mi'akiv, that means if you can't do the mitzvah without that particular function, then it can only be done by the Kohen. It cannot be done by a czar, by an outsider. So then the question is, what about shechita of a karban? The shechita of a karban is mi'akiv. You can't have a karban without shechita. And since the Rambam establishes that if it's mi'akif, if it, if it has to be done, without which it's not kosher, it cannot be done by a czar, why by other karbanas could you allow a czar to do the shechita? That's the question of the Lecha Mishnah. Without too much thought, L'cha'era, one could give the following answer. When we say that something is not an Aveda, and by the way, the geirul itself is not called an aveda. That's the a ma major point. The geirul itself is not an aveda because it's preliminary to the actual service, the ritual of the sacrifice. But because it's miakiv, it cannot be done by a non kohen, by a czar. So shechita, the question is, shechita is also miakiv. So why is it that it's kosher bizarre? So the answer could be like this. Why is it that Shechita is lav Aveda? Why is Shechita not called an Aveda? So Teisvus, in several places, in Zvachim and other places, brings from 
read the Orleans, the re, Rabbi Yaakov of Orleans, who one of the Bali Teisvus, who says that Shechita is not an Aveda, Shechita is kosher bazaar because it's not germane, it's not related, restricted to a carbon. You have to do Shechita on any animal that you want to use, that you want to eat. So the whole idea of Shechita is not connected to a carbon. So that's why it's not called an Aveda, and that's why it's Kshera bazaar. Even though shechita is indispensable, you have to have it, but not because of the kodshim aspect of it. You have to have it because of the general rule of shechita. So it's the fact that shechita is not a kodshim process. It's needed because even chulin needs it. Therefore, it's not an avayda, and therefore it's kashera bizarre. Not because it's miyakiv, because not because it's not miyakiv. It is miyakiv. You have to have shechita, but not for the kodshim aspect of it. Masha'enkin, by contrast, over here, what is the reason why it's miyakiv, and yet it's not an avayda? It's not an avayda only because it's preliminary, but it's a preliminary of kodshim. It's connected dafka to kodshim. You don't have this whole idea of a girdle by chulin. It doesn't relate to chulin. It relates dafka to kodshim. So even though it's not an aveda, why? Because it's only preliminary. It's like, if you want to use an analogy, it's not a perfect analogy. The mitzvah to eat in the sukkah is the mitzvah of the Torah. Building the sukkah, we don't make a bracha when we build the sukkah, the Gemara says. Why? Because it's only preliminary. It's not the end of the mitzvah. So but it's still included in the mitzvah of sukkah. It's just not the primary part of the mitzvah, and therefore, according to the Bavli, it doesn't require a bracha. The Roshami says you do need a bracha, because it is part, it's an accessory to the mitzvah. But when we say that we don't need a bracha, it's because it's only preliminary, but it's a preliminary to the mitzvah of sukkah. It's related to sukkah. Same thing over here. The reason why the gairol is not kosher with a czar, even though it's because it's miyakif, it's an, a crucial part of the of the whole ritual. Albeit, it's not an aveda because it's only preliminary. So it's an inferior part of kachim, but it has no, nothing to do with a czar. The czar is not kosher. But she'en shechita, of all the other sacrifices, the shechita, even though it's indispensable, it has nothing to do with kachim. It's a general rule of shechita, and therefore it can be done even by azar.